The top five haunted houses in Southeast Asia. Number one, Byram Estates, the 99 door mansion of Penang. The mansion was once owned by one of the richest families in the United Kingdom. It was built in the 1840s. It may have 99 doors, but there are only 10 rooms. John St. Mao Ramsden was murdered in 1948. He was shot twice in the back of his head. It's rumored that in the 1960s, a BOMO, also known as a witch doctor, practiced opening a hundredth door to try to contact the dead using his dark magic. Number two, Agnes Keith House. This house was named after Agnes Keith, the renowned author of many books. She and her husband, Harry Keith, lived there between 1946 and 1947. In her third book, White Man Returns, Agnes shared her experience living in the house. I don't believe in ghosts, but every day I see a tall, gaunt woman telling her husband goodbye, then taking her baby and walking down the path alone, standing at the bottom of the path and looking back. Many visitors have also claimed to have witnessed the same thing. In 2021, Saba Tourism listed the Agnes Keith House as part of their dark tourism. Visitors have the opportunity to spend a night at the house to experience for themselves the life of Agnes Newton Keith. Number three, Sanjay Gill House, Bukit Gassing. Before it was abandoned in the early 2000s, Sanjay Gill lived there with his wife. Sanjay had an affair with another woman who happened to be his wife's best friend. After his wife found out about this affair, she chopped her friend's head off and then hung it in the entrance door to the house. Upon seeing this gruesome scene, Sanjay Gill suffered a heart attack and died. There's another version. Sanjay's wife stabbed him 21 times and he died on the spot. Then Sanjay's wife went and hung herself in their bedroom. There's another story of a spiritual black magic guru who practiced the occult at the house, but there's very little information about this rumor. Number four, Neo Two Estates. The Neo Two Estate was named after prolific businessman Neo Ao Tu. During World War II, Neo Tu mobilized his fellow patriots to assist the British. Because he sided with the British, in 1942, the Japanese murdered every member of his family, 35 people, including a two-month-old baby. Another rumor about the Neo Tu estate is that a gambler once forced the spirit dwelling within to provide him with winning lottery numbers. After striking it rich, he neglected to take care of the land and all the trees died, angering the spirit within. Number five, Matilda House, SG, also called Instana Minanti or Waiting Place in Malay. An Irish lawyer by the name of Alexander Cashin built it for his wife in 1902. The house stayed in the Cashin family for a long time until it was left abandoned before the government acquired it. Villagers walking past the Matilda House reportedly saw a lady with long hair sitting atop a nearby tree. Others who visit the house claim to have seen a white mist floating down the hallways. Even today, unexplained forces seem to always get in the way when someone is trying to tear the house down or even do any major renovations. Would you like more stories like this? Leave a thumbs up and drop us a message in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you as we explore more creepy stories from around the world. Get subscribed if you haven't already. Be a part of our crew. Remember to also hit that notification bell to be a part of the Undertaker squad. Get notified when we upload the next video. Remember guys, stay spooky, keep it creepy, and happy hauntings. I'll see you on the next video.